Happy Sabbath and welcome to the Faith Seventh-day Adventist Church, the place where the Word of God is preached and Spirit of God is manifested. The Northeastern Conference has experienced a few adjustments in its administration over the past two weeks, and we extend congratulations to those whom God has called to greater responsibilities. Congratulations to Dr. Abraham Jules, who was elected to serve as president of Atlantic Union of Seventh-day Adventists. On Sunday, June 9th, 2024, the Executive Committee of the Northeastern Conference elected Dr. L. Dean King as the new president of this field. Dr. Nicardo Delahaye was elected as Executive Secretary, and Dr. Keith Albury was elected as Associate Secretary. Congratulations to these men of God as they serve in their new capacities. Northeastern Conference Camp Meeting 2024 is fast approaching and it promises to be an amazing time of worship, fellowship, and fun. There is a great lineup of nightly speakers and the preachers for the first and final Sabbath will be Pastors Michelle Hill, and Dr. Carlton Bird. Make plans to be there and receive the blessing God has in store for you. Our Stewardship Initiative campaign, Building Together, Sharing Forever, Not Equal Giving, But Equal Sacrifice, are the watchwords for our church over the next three years. And today, we say thank you to all those who are honoring their pledges and we acknowledge those who signed up this week. This is an exciting time at Faith and we encourage all members to be a part to upgrade our facility so that we can provide better ministries for our members and the community. The excitement continues in the Children's Ministry Department as this summer's VBS is fast approaching. Heartiest congratulations to our spectacular Bible Bowl team who represented New England at the Northeastern Conference Championships last Sabbath, June 8th. The pre-juniors and juniors displayed stellar performances in several competitive matches, placing first in their competition. They will go on to represent our conference in the national championships in October. We will be competing against all conferences within the United States and Ontario, Canada. Our senior youth also did extremely well and were awarded the second runner-up title. The adult teams was quite impressive and received honorable mention. Praise the Lord for his mighty works. Please be reminded that board meeting will be held Sunday, June 23rd at 8.30 in the morning in person. All leaders are asked to be on time. Calling all graduates. Faith Education Department celebrates and recognizes all of our graduates. And next Sabbath, June 22nd, we invite you to be a part of this special program as we celebrate your hard work and accomplishments. So, if you haven't submitted your full name, graduating level, name of school, and a picture of yourself, please do so by Monday, June 17th. For more information, see Sister Noreen Faulkner or email faithannouncements at hotmail.com. This past Monday, Pastor Sturrup continued There Is Hope online Bible study in conjunction with the upcoming crusade. We are now on lesson number two under the caption, Hope in the Second Coming of Jesus. The study was informative and invigorating. Members, guests, and prospective members logged on and participated in the study. Remember, the study will be taking place every Monday at 7 o'clock p.m. sharp. If you would like to be part of this Bible study, the link for the Zoom is in the e-bulletin. 
Get ready for New England South Summer Public Evangelism Program. The Power of Truth Evangelistic Team presents There Is Hope Revival Series for Christ with Pastor T. Basil Stirrup. The meetings begin Sunday, July 7, 2024 at 7 p.m. under the Big Tent on 2242 Main Street in Hartford, Connecticut. Each night, there will be a healthy lifestyle component to the program and a presentation on financial empowerment, inspirational music, and a special tent with activities for toddlers and children. Plan now to attend these meetings and invite your family and friends to join you as Pastor Stirrup presents Jesus Christ, the positive choice for every generation. Last week, we met at the park to pray and ask God to consecrate the grounds for holy use. Thank you to those who attended. Today is Father's Day and the Men's and Women's Ministries Department have a special day prepared for you. There'll be a lunch immediately following divine service and an afternoon program for men and women. Today's sermon will be preached by our pastor entitled Commission by God. Get a pen and your notebook as this sermon will be filled with powerful insights. Let's pray for the Spirit of God to have its way. <music> 